so here we are. This is a, a false unboxing. I opened things up and uh, I just had to check things out. So here we go. Wow, there's a piece of styrofoam. There's more styrofoam and packing peanuts. I'm sure you are aware of that. And uh, let's see what I got here. Got some acros from battlecorals.com. The light is pretty bad, and actually the light is too good in here. There's too much glare. And you can hear meat wad in the back kind of meowing. Um, but in any event, this is a blue moon. Kind of a short growing thing, I believe. It looks like it doesn't really get too, too tall and gets real bushy. Blue moon. I'm sorry, Blue Moon Humus or Hummus, I don't know. This is a Starburst Monty Cap. So it's orange with uh, orange with yellow polyps. Maybe if I hold it like this you can see a little bit better. And it's off the plug and that is fine because I'm going to put it elsewhere not on the plug. This is a crazy banana milli. You can even see the polyps extended already. It's nice and yellow. Looks awesome. Looks kind of like a banana. I hear they taste like bananas too. And uh, you'll probably see bananas if you do that because you'll probably hallucinate from the toxins and maybe die. Uh, don't do it at home, kids. This is a Sky Dipper. I have no idea what color this is. And I have no idea what it even looks like because that one is a freebie. This is a Euphrags rainbow. It looks really cool here. It's very, oops, going to be careful. Um, looks very, I won't say white, but very light with blue tips. And then there's even white at the end of those tips. So that should be a cool one. Birds of Paradise. A bird's nest. I have no bird's nest. I had a Birds of Paradise before with my other lighting. I went on vacation and had kind of a mini crash. My salinity dropped big time and uh, I lost my bird's nest. Auto top off incidents. Very bad. Some stuff recovered. My Monty's did. This is a red robin. This is another another freebie. I'm kind of guessing it it's red. It doesn't look red. It looks kind of green, but uh, we'll see. I'm gonna have to map these when I put them in the tank because I won't remember what is what. This is a Tubstalata Montipora. This has some really weird growth. That's why I bought it. Uh, it's green and bluish. Like I said, sorry about the glare. That kind of. And it has to do with the camera as well. Mm -hmm. This is a Spook City. So I believe this is like a, a green with blue tips. We'll see what it looks like when it's fully acclimated. You'll have to watch. watch. I'll have to wash part two. Wash. Eh. 
it's 11 a.m. I'm usually sleeping at this time so my brain's not functioning right. You'll have to watch part two when I make that. And this is a Garf Bonsai. Garf Bonsai. These are very sexy. After I dip these, get them adjusted to the tank. I like this one. This one's awesome. It's a glow stick. This one is a freebie as well. So it has some pretty impressive texture on it. Very impressive. I bet you the polyps on this are just gonna rock, you know. That freaking looks nice. When I say freebies, um, so this is a rainbow stylo, and it's it's pretty small. Dealing with a person here on a, at Battle Corals, Adam, he was pretty cool. It's, you know, it was like talking to a hobbyist. You know. Um, he was very honest about things. He was like, well, I have a rainbow stylo. It's pretty small. You know, I can part with it just to let you know. But what I have isn't really huge. But uh, they made up for it with uh, all these other free ones. So I'm pretty impressed here so far. On the, I didn't expect some of the sizes to be what they were and uh, next step is to dip them and uh, get them acclimated. I'll probably put them on the bottom of the tank for a day or so and figure out exactly where I'm going to put them and uh, I like cementing them in place for sooner than later. You know you put them somewhere, you move them up, they get knocked down you move them up a little bit more, they get knocked down and you know versus just kind of cementing them where you want them to be and then just using some uh, some screen basically um, and laying that on top and kind of shading the coral for a little bit you know you can put a couple layers of that and after you know a week or so remove one layer and then remove the next and kind of acclimating them to light that way I kind of like that idea better you know, but uh, so in any event, those are the corals. You'll have to watch again just to see uh, see what they look like when they open up. All right. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and or subscribe. See ya.